Well, good morning, everyone. We're down here. You know, I'm having problems. You know the problems I'm having? I'm smelling all this food. <laughs> How am I going to talk with all this food? That smells so good. Okay, I'm down here at Mzara's restaurant, Mzara's kitchen, we call it. It's a 1500 seat restaurant, downstairs, upstairs. Yep. Be one of the biggest restaurants in, in, North America. in North America. So I'm down here at Mzara's restaurant. I have with me uh, Dan Anderson. And Dan, your position here? Vice So, okay, so we had some reconnection problems. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm the Vice President of Operations for the Museum and the Art. And we have just refurbished I mean, we've only been open, what, a year and a half? Right. But we actually had not finished Mzara's restaurant. Correct. So we put a floor on it. it it's uh, actually a vinyl floor. It looks just like wood. Yeah. And we do that upstairs as well. And we're really doing this whole place up. And look at the buffet, the beautiful buffet in the middle. We actually turned it into a buffet restaurant. And uh, we were using these temporary sort of buffets on wheels. But now we've been building in. The buffet. That's right. We're really close to getting finished, and we get rave reviews. Oh yeah, the People food here the food. is food here is so fresh. Yeah. I mean, even if I don't like chicken, I'm not a chicken person. I don't eat chicken. I hate chicken, but <laughs> I will eat the chicken down here. That's good uh, to hear. Because <laughs> actually, you don't use frozen chicken. Nope. Fresh chicken. Fresh chicken and it's hand breaded. Hand breaded. And it's cooked in a pressure cooker. It's roasted. Yeah. So it's roasted. cooked under under oil under pressure. And it is. It, it, it's very moist. It's not. You know, yeah, it seals it in. It's, it's not really like juicy. what I call hotel chicken. You know, when you go to those meals at hotels, <laughs> yeah, it's rubbery. They drop this piece of dried stuff dry. on your plate, and yep. it's got no taste. And you know, it's really moist. It's it's really tender. It's really good. But chicken. let's go and have a look at the buffet here, and and the prices. People can't get over the prices. So what's an adult? So an adult's thirteen ninety nine, and that's all you can eat, and that's uh, includes drinks, hot and cold drinks, and dessert. Dessert, which includes ice cream. Yep. That's right, soft serve ice cream. Ice cream and other desserts. Yes. And for senior citizens? Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Again, all you can eat, including dessert and drink. And then for kids, six ninety nine. Wow. So I don't think you can get a deal out there like that at any other theme park. No, not at all, not at all. And let's have a look here. Uh, we'll go over if you want to sure. take me to the buffet over sure. here. And we're actually right now building a whole new buffet line as well because it's so popular. We're building a whole new buffet line down the back here. Right. And enclosing in the kitchen there, so we're modifying all of that. That's under construction right now. We have a temporary buffet line in front, uh, but that should be ready by, what, next week? Yeah, they right. actually you can see a piece of countertop sitting there right now, so that means they're putting the counters on. The counters are quartz. So oh, really? Be, yes, they're beautiful countertops. So maybe we could get a little peek yeah, here. Yeah, it looks like there's this. a piece sitting right in the middle there. Let's see if we can get a peek. This is uh, the one that's under construction, and... Um, Oh, I see it. Yes. Yeah. So there, you get a little glimpse as to what's gonna, what's gonna be there, and yep. uh, that's so this will, this will uh, take the place of these temporary ones here. Yes. This whole run here, um, this whole length here is a total of fifty-four buffet wells. Fifty-four buffet wells, and then there's an additional fifty-eight over here. Out so here. it's gonna double. Yeah. Double this. So let's let's walk around this. I want you people to see what we do here at Ark Encounter and uh, why this is so popular. Uh, so we can see the vegetables and yes, yeah, so you've got uh, our mac and cheese, our own recipe corn, and um, you got uh, Pollock so, here. So your own recipe corn. Everything here, Pollock, like the pot fish. roast, is actually hand roasted. It's not a. Uh, it's not a. Uh, so, already made product. So they put different names on depending on what they have each day. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those riblets I mean, look good, don't they? So yeah, they do. We have uh, met metwurst and sauerkraut. We have red skin potatoes. Or oh, red this skin, is the uh, famous potatoes. chicken. Yes, that's the chicken. Even we better than Chick Fil A, right? We, <laughs> yes, I think so. We go through a lot of chicken. It's pretty amazing how much chicken will and, be uh, consumed in the day here. And then, <laughs> then so we reduce the chicken population here. Yeah. <laughs> So and then the and then salad. You've got your your cold side here, which is your fresh salad bar, uh, and that extends all the way around. There's two soups a day. They're still getting those out here as they set up for the day. Yeah, the buffet is um, opening here in just a moment. 
because uh, the people aren't in here yet. So and these, these are the salads. We make these by hand. These are a pasta salad and a pea salad. And then there's a superfood salad down here, which is kale. So give it another, what, hour and this whole floor will be full and people yeah. will be going upstairs yep. and filling upstairs. Because yes. there's thousands of people coming every day and now. And everybody wants to come here and eat. I, I see people <laughs> starting to come because yeah. it's, it's opening here in a moment. So there's and, the superfood uh, salad. That's new, Ken. It's really good. What is it? It's a kale superfood salad. Oh, really? And then the raisins or the carrot and raisin salad we make here as well. So it's not just out of a tub. So we do a lot of fresh stuff here. Mm -hmm. You know what I might do here is uh, what I normally do. I go to my Facebook and I follow along and see what questions there are from people. All right. Uh, so we will do that as we're going around here. So let's continue on here. And so for, you know we call that in, in Australia, call that beetroot. Yeah, we just got beets here. You just call it beets here. And there's, there's it's pickle, actually a good reason it, why those beets are there because I, I heard a rumor beets, that right? Ken likes them. So it's pickled beets. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. they're yeah they're kind of in a sugar. Uh, I, I love pickled beets. They've got uh, a little so. twang to them. They're good. Okay, let's do what they're saying. The chicken is so good. The buffet is delicious. We were just up there in March, um, and so let's see what else they're saying here. Great value. Um, buffet is good and reasonably priced. Superfood, yum yum. Mm. Okay, so we're going to get some comments there. Yeah, let's walk around this. And look, our own um, fabricators built this, didn't they? Yes, this was and all done in house. It's all done in house. Very professional. The cabinets look. were all handmade at our facility. These are not, you can't buy these. Can't buy these cabinets. Nope. Yeah, the cabinets are all handmade. And uh, they uh, built the entire thing here. Maybe we could get a bit of a look down here, see all the heat lights. Yeah, we had uh, to bring. As well. We had to bring an extra 400 amps of service in the building just to handle, just to handle the buffet the and the lights. That's right. And, uh, oh, look, we're starting to see people coming in now and uh, getting ready for this. Yeah, I definitely want to thank uh, Tim Wallingford and Harry and his crew. These guys really worked hard on this. It looks gorgeous. Someone said, why not walk the whole line and comment on the dishes as you go? Well, we've been doing that, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, those so. are our sliders right there. Those are really popular. They're uh, certified Angus beef cheeseburgers, and then we've got the uh, the fries next to there. Those are um, uh, they have a coating on them, but they're really tasty. They're uh, called Sidewinder fries. Oh, I love those Sidewinder yeah. fries. Yeah, those, I'm addicted to them. They're I, really good. I admit I'm addicted to them. And uh, look, mashed potatoes. Talk about the, the mashed potatoes and gravy. And, uh, the baked we, beans are smoked in our smoker. Yeah, we can see people getting ready. So. Someone asked about desserts. Well, actually. The dessert lines right now, they're building new dessert yes, lines. Yes, so these are, uh, are going to be these over there. These are the temporary ones for the moment. And they're but, just getting um, this stuff out so the lights so are on. So they still haven't got the names on They're just getting ready to get the names yep. on them, I guess, uh, which they have well, different things every encouraging day. folks to eat the regular food first before they have so, the dessert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, as well as the different desserts that they put out here. And we changed um, that. We're going to be changing some of the desserts into some cobblers and some and, other homemade things. And too, then, of course, so. the soft serve ice cream is... Is really, uh, really popular. The kids love the soft serve. Yeah, the kids love the soft serve. And as we come around here, you can see the uh, drink machines. And then we have these temporary lines down here until we get the new ones uh, open. Yeah. Uh, as you can see. So, and, and uh, then the the uh, Pepsi machines now have ice makers on top. So we've oh, added. So now we don't really? have to worry about. It. Everybody's got the yeah. ice when they need it. And um, somebody here said we were just there last week. Everything was delicious. Highly recommend this restaurant. Uh, someone said, "Where's the Lamington?" Yeah, they don't make Australian desserts here, unfortunately. <laughs> I have to I have to talk to Dan about that. We have a massive kitchen in there. Yep, that, I mean, compared to other restaurants, it's huge. We do a lot of food for the rest of the park in here too. Plus, we run any catering meals out of here as well. So they're just getting ready to put the new buffet lines in there, and that'll uh -huh. all be. Um, yeah, it'll look just like this it'll, line, it'll sneeze guards like, and all. Just and like these new lines here. It'll uh, double our capacity is what it'll do. Right. Right. Because And, then, and look, it, it, it opens here at 11 o'clock and already people are pouring in. Of course, we prepare all this food just so just so all the atheists know we prepare this food for nobody. That's Cause right. Because no, nobody comes. No, we, it's and pretty sad. We put it out we, and then we have to take it all back. And in the kitchen there and they're preparing like crazy now, cooking all this food for no one. Right. Yes, that's right. All that cornbread's for nobody. Yeah. So well, even the cornbread here. Yeah, we, we make, just put it out for show. We make it from scratch. That yeah. jalapeno cornbread. Have yeah. you had that yet? The uh, jalapeno no. cornbread really? is really good. That's um, jalapeno cornbread with honey glaze on the top. A honey, honey glaze. I love mm -hmm. honey. Mm -hmm. Wow, you do it's that. It's really here? that sweet. Yes, that sweet. And, so uh, you, you make all savory. that here yourself. Yes. 
Yeah, Kelly and her team make a lot of stuff from scratch. Someone said, are they healthy options? They're all healthy options. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, matter of fact, we rotate things in and out. The broccoli's steamed. There's there's all kinds of uh, gluten-free options. You just have to ask us so we can help guide you and, through that. And uh, steamed broccoli, lots of vegetables, the carrots. There's pasta with marinara sauce. There's all kinds of things that you can eat. Depending on your diet, just ask us and we'll help out. So Help yeah, figure that out. We, um, we try to do... Whatever we can for people, accommodate people, mm -hmm. accommodate people's now you needs. You see those little buttons down there yeah. underneath the wells? Yeah. We're, we're, we put in a new call button system. So as we expand these all the way around, they push the button when they take a pan of food out, and that tells the kitchen to replenish it. Oh, really? So it shows up on a screen back there. That tells them I just took the back up of broccoli. They start bringing broccoli out. So we don't have to run back and forth and figure it out. You know, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's a new... We I, just, I'm the president and I didn't well, even know that. that's a new development. We just started installing them and we've been testing the system out. So eventually every pan of food will have its own button. That's incredible. Yeah. That Should is make really it faster great. to refill. Oh, yeah. so, and then we have uh, the lift over there too. Today I think, uh, yeah, we're just putting in, you see behind the curtains there, but this is a lift to go up to the second floor. That's right. Uh, and it'll be for handicapped people, for mm -hmm. wheelchairs and so on. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of room here on the first floor, but right. the second floor is amazing up there, too. Now, you'll, Mate, you'll see yep. now that we have these. Yes. But those are going away. We'll be doing regular dishes. Regular dishes, and, uh, regular knives and forks. Mm -hmm. So we're getting rid of all the plastic getting rid and of that. all the disposables. We're, we're really upgrading to, uh, this entire restaurant in a yeah. massive way. Yes. Which is really fantastic. It's been a lot of work, but the guys really chipped hey, in. You know, you know what? I've been to places like Disney and other places. To be honest, I haven't experienced a buffet at the quality of food like this. I, I would have to agree. Someone said, vegan or dairy-free, please. Is it well labeled for those with food sensitivities? Uh, yes, and you can ask anybody. We're actually redoing all the labels, but you can ask any employee. We have. We can direct you to what whatever your particular needs are. We can direct you to it. So, so um, But eventually, so, yes, so there'll be a little member. V on the, on, the, on the label, and it'll tell you what's vegan and what's not. Okay. Visited last October, and the buffet is wonderful. I could have started the tour with the buffet and worked off some calories and hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> all being said... And done at the Ark just shows that God provides. Yeah, we, we try to do things in the best possible way. Um, so, uh, someone said not vegan. Yum, yum. <laughs> so, there's someone who's <laughs> vegan and someone not vegan. But we're, we're getting all the labels done so that uh, people will be able to know uh, what's, what's vegan, what's not. And uh, there's food for everyone. So, if you just want steamed vegetables, we have that. If you want salad, uh, fresh salad, we have that. If you want fried chicken, there's that. There's fish. There's hot roast. And outside, of course, we have the smokehouse. We have the smokehouse. Uh, with smoked brisket, smoked salmon, smoked pork. S smoked pork. And then uh, we're in West Village, you can get uh, some tacos or uh, nachos or a burrito bowl. You can get a flatbread sandwich. Actually, West Village and, is going to be a lot of fun because you'll be able to order and sit down and we'll bring it to you. Oh, really? Yeah, we're yeah. working on that right now. So. so, because, you know, thousands of people coming here every day and having a big impact on northern Kentucky, actually. Oh, yeah. But uh, they're this, all hungry. This is, I mean, we're setting a standard here for buffets. I mean, really. Well, Kelly, and, uh, what uh, doing. she's our food service director, and she really talks to her folks about, I don't want it to taste good. I want it to taste excellent. So she actually makes them taste their food when they do the recipe for the first time. Oh, really? They have to taste everything before they understand how to prepare it. So Excellent. We have some really yeah. great people here. And uh, by the way, we are right now in need of seasonals to come yes. and uh, be employed here. Hey, even if, uh, you know, it could be a college student, mm -hmm. um, certainly have to sign our statement of faith. It's, it's a, an abridged version for the fundamentals of Christianity for seasonals. It's not the same as the statement of faith for, for the full-time right. uh, managers and so on. But um, we employ Christians here and because uh, we're a Christian organization yes. and they need to exhibit Christian grace and everything that That's they correct. do. Yeah. Uh, so because of who we are. But we do need uh, seasonal workers. You know, even someone who maybe has dropped their kids off at school and they've got three or four hours during That's the day, right. they can come and work for those three That's or four right. hours, right? That's right. We'd love so. to have them. And if you're into culinary arts, we do a lot of stuff from scratch, so you'll learn a lot from our, our cook right. staff. Right, it's not just all frozen stuff no, reheated in a microwave or something. There is a lot of stuff done from yep. scratch here, uh, which I think people really, really uh, appreciate. Someone said, we actually drove seven hours one way for this food. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks delicious. What is the cost? Well, and the cost is, we, you know, 
I, I go to some of these secular attractions and you feel like you just ripped off mm -hmm. buying a ticket and then you ripped off buying food. But $9 here, dollar hamburger. What, what, yeah. yeah, exactly. What's the price here? It's thirteen ninety nine for adults. Again, that's all you can eat. That uh, includes dessert, drink, and coffee if you like hot beverages. It's thirteen ninety nine for adults, ten ninety nine for seniors, and six ninety nine for kids. I mean, that's in incredible. I, I mean, to have a buffet of this size, of this quality, made from scratch food and drinks and dessert, I think that's absolutely uh, phenomenal, and uh, that's what we want to do here. Actually, we're also doing some additional things at the Creation Museum, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've uh, we just added a soup and salad area down in Palm Cafe that's just really been popular. The soups are all you know, they're, you know they're they're all really hearty and, and well made, and then the sandwiches, you know, they uh, grilled cheese. You can get a grilled cheese and tomato biscuit. It's just delicious. Hey, how about if we think we can keep our phone signal, we'll sneak upstairs and give you a look at what we've done upstairs uh, here. Again, uh, this is the incredible buffet at Mzara's Kitchen. Yeah, people are starting to pour in now. I think we're expecting about 3,000 people today yeah. here mm -hmm. and probably about 2,000 at the museum today. Uh, we've had for the last few days between the museum and the Ark, about 6,000 people total a day. It's been very uh, busy. It, people it have been having a good time. So um, as we sneak around here, let's go upstairs. And if our signal, signal stays, uh, which we hope it will, uh, we're going to go up to uh, the next floor and just show up here. Uh, because once this starts filling up down here, then they open up for people to go up here as well. Um, and just to show you, there's plenty of room here. I'll show you what we're doing down here at the Ark. Uh, someone said, great price. So here we are, if you look up here, uh, you can see this is an amazing area. So between, the, you can actually seat more people upstairs than downstairs, because downstairs you have the buffet lines and, and the restrooms and all the rest of right. it. And, uh, but this is an amazing area. And this uh, will be full. Yeah. When, when the, I mean, there's just, they, the view from out on that deck is gorgeous. So in the summer, people sit up here too. Oh yeah, and they love to sit up there. And you can see the, uh, the bow there. Actually, let's go out there and have a look. Seeing as we're down at the Ark, you know what? We, we better see the Ark. So let's uh, go outside here. So um, the buffet here opens at 11 o'clock. So it's only just opened. And so we're starting to see people now pouring in. So, um, okay, so let's come out here. Uh, let me show you what we're doing out here. We'll come over here and you can see right there, you can see the bow of the ark. And We'll just show you, and I'm going to get Dan to tell us what we're putting in. Actually, we've renamed it. We've renamed it Village Market. Yes. And uh, very soon, uh, when people come here, actually on the other side you can't see it, but we have uh, houses there where there's birds and there's these big monument stones. We call that Monument Walk, and that's where people will walk down to come into the Ark. Uh, we're just coming out of winter, and so we're just getting ready to open these outside the Ark. And this is Village Market. I'll come back to that in a moment. If you have a look over here, you see our smokehouse. And uh, so there they have uh, actually brisket, brisket, smoked brisket pork. tacos. They smoke the brisket right here. You can see the big smoker right beside yeah. uh, the smokehouse there. They just did 1,000 pounds of pork just two days ago. So there's a lot of meat going through that smoker. And uh, our chef that runs the smoker, he, he pays attention to that quite a bit. We also do our baked beans in there, so they smoke over time. Oh, okay. And we'll, sometimes we'll smoke macaroni and cheese, which is really good. Maybe we can use the video and do a close-up look at that smoker. That's one of those big smokers. It is. It's run by... It's uh, a Southern Pride, and it is a... Southern Pride. It's a rotisserie smoker, and uh, our chef, Stebbin, usually uh, mans that himself. So Now, if you can look, you can see this construction going on there. Um, this is going up pretty quickly now. They've got all the infrastructure in, but we're putting in four shade areas. Mm -hmm. And so we're calling this Rainbow Ridge. Yeah. And people can go get food and eat there. We also have food in the gift store as well. In yes. In fact, we just started doing these large cookies. One of our, our fudge vendors started doing cookies, and they were uh, just wildly popular. It's a quarter pound cookie, it's a really big cookie. Quarter pound cookie. And yeah. they go like crazy. Oh, they do. And then they make fudge in there, and mm -hmm. they make brittle. brittle. 
Now, tell us what's, what's going in here, and this will be open soon. Again, Village Market. Yeah, so we've got a couple snack stands. They're doing popcorn, kettle corn, and some other flavors of popcorn, icy, that kind of stuff. Then we have the, the donut kiosk over there. We're doing mini donuts, and you can get those topped with, like, strawberries and cream or caramel or, uh, like, candy bits, like Heath bits. And then the uh, store over here, the one that says Potter's Wheel now, is actually going to be Oscar uh, Nava's yeah, um, he's, workshop. Yeah, he's so, incredibly talented. He does beautiful artist. work, and yeah. he'll, he'll actually you can actually go watch him paint. Right. And then a lot of his products are available in there. Then the the larger building in the middle there, that's Zofar's, and we're going to be filling this area with picnic tables. You'll be able to order from a really broad menu there. There's a Monte Cristo sandwich. There's hand dipped corn dogs. There's quesadillas. All kinds of stuff off that menu, and you'll be able to. Sit down, relax, and then order order off a menu there. So that'll be kind of fun for folks. And then in the far corner, we're doing rolled ice cream. Yeah, tell me what rolled ice cream is. So Let's walk around here it's a, uh, so we can get a bit of a closer look at that. It's a big trend in Thailand, actually, is where it started. And you take the ice cream as it's liquid, and you put it on a what's called an anti-griddle, which is a griddle that's really cold instead of hot. That's why it's called anti-griddle. Mm -hmm. And then okay. it, it freezes in a flat sheet. And then you scrape it up with a spatula, and it rolls into a tube. And then you put mm. that in a taco shell that we make here, like a uh, waffle cone taco shell, and then you top it with all kinds of toppings. So it's an ice cream taco. So you yeah. so be able to get an ice cream taco? Yeah. That would yeah. be fascinating. They're a lot of fun. You and, can do different colors. And down and here we have pizza. So people want to know if there's a range of food here. There's a big oh, range yeah. of food here. You've got all these outside food venues. And, and we'll have, of course, hand-squeezed lemonade in the summer like we right. did last year. And right. we're adding Kona ice, so if you like shaved ice, oh, okay. that'll be available this year when it's hot. And, of course, there's a coffee shop up there mm -hmm. and a coffee shop in the gift store. Yes. And there's snack bars on deck, deck two, two and, and deck one. One. Well, one and two, yeah. One and two inside the arc. And, of course, inside the arc there, uh, you have all those exhibits, and you can walk through all three decks, deck one, deck two, deck three. And we, we've added since... Uh, uh, people, you know, people who've already visited will probably be surprised that we, we oh. just added a new exhibit just last week. Actually. That's right. All kinds uh, of change that, over the winter. The whole uh, true history of the world, big three-dimensional yes. chart thing that's in there. And then down the back we have the zoo, and we start the camel rides again when? They started. They're already, they they yep. just started? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that winter's over, we started the camel rides and donkey rides. You can walk through the zoo. We have a petting area. And that's and our zoo expansion. We'll be expanding the zoo over there. We have a stage over here in uh, the village market, and uh, we're looking at doing some live animal, animal programs. Animal pre yeah, animal presentations. Yeah, live animal presentations there as well. Then we're expanding the zoo behind the ark, mm -hmm. and that'll start to happen this year as well. So, man, things are well, going ahead. Well, we've got the oh. theater, the big crane yeah, sticking up there. Look, oh, yeah. Let's uh, have a look there. You can't see uh, the floor from here, but you can see the big crane. Um, I see they brought that in today. They're starting to put the steel up now. We're building a 2,500-seat auditorium with a 36,000-square-foot basement for all sorts of workshops, and then a 10,000-square-foot lobby that goes on the front. Yep. And we're going to have a food area yes, in there. Yes, we'll have food available a bookstore, there. Mm -hmm. and we'll be doing presentations, daily presentations. I'll be speaking here. Concerts, presentations, time, concerts, all kinds uh, of all stuff. All sorts of interesting things. Yep. So uh, this has really become a major, major attraction, and uh, people pour in from uh, all over the world. Um, so, somebody said here, what impressed me about the Ark Encounter is how absolutely everything was thought through in detail. Another example of that. Outstanding. <laughs> somebody said here, wow, Disney look out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, you, and you know the interesting thing? People are starting to realize places like Disney have become so secularized and pushing the gay agenda, pushing the, 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 you know, this whole gender issue, transgender, all mm -hmm. that sort of thing, and in their movies and other things. And uh, people are realizing, hey, we want to take our kids to a family-friendly place. Uh, and those are hard to find these days. They're hard to find. But the Ark Encounter, the Creation Museum here in northern Kentucky, uh, family-friendly. Uh, and, you know, we're, I have non-Christians. Probably 30% of people who come here, we worked out, are non-Christians. And you know what they tell me? We love the way you present it. It's so first class. It's outstanding. And, and, and you, 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 you're bold about what you believe, and yet at the same time it's presented in such a sensitive way, in a nice way. It's not, it's not um, threatening. It's just yeah, we're not hitting them on the people head are having a good time. Any. I mean, the atheists were claiming that we were going to you know, basically line people up against a, a wall <laughs> with a firing squad and you know, convert now or you can't leave this place. And uh, the stupid things they come out with. Yeah. And, uh, I've met people from all over the world here. Yeah, I know. 
Well, you know, I spoke at the museum this week, and of course, you know, I asked how many people come from outside of Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky. You know, the, the rumor at the uh, uh, Legacy Hall, about a thousand people. I mean, 95% of people put their hands up, and they come from all over the world. And that day, I said, What countries are you from? There were people from Nicaragua, there were people from Brazil, people from Canada. I mean, every day I speak at the Creation Museum, uh, the, we find people from all over the world. And, you know, those people come here as well. And there are more people that actually come to the Ark. And it, it's just amazing to, to see them, yeah. the countries they come from. It, well, even across the United States, I met a couple from Seattle uh, the other day in the elevator. And I asked them, you know, where they were from. And they said, Seattle area. I said, well, what brings you here? And he said, the Ark Encounter did. His wife has uh, cancer. She had terminal cancer. And this was on her list. And she was having a great time. Oh, isn't that special? Yeah, she came here and they went to the museum. That was two things she wanted to do. Hey, I'll, I'll let you into a secret. Um, you know, we, we actually already have the funds to expand the zoo at the back, and we're doing that, and putting in the uh, Rainbow Ridge. We've got Monument Walk ready to open, and that'll open very soon. Yep. Uh, people will be able to walk down there, see the birds in those buildings over there, and also see the monuments. There's, there's a number of monuments in hieroglyphs that tell the history of the world up until the flood. There'll be some goats um, over there, too. And we're going to have some goats over there, too. And then uh, Village Market here will open very soon again. Now we're coming out of winter and we have a, uh, an artist in there who you can watch uh, doing all sorts of uh, intriguing things. But beyond where the 2,500-seat auditorium is going, the next section we decide to do, yesterday we made the decision, because, you know, we're going to put in a wall city, we're going to put in a tower of we're going to put in all sorts of different things. But... Uh, one of the things that we decided to do next is to put in a children's adventure area uh, right over fun. there beside the auditorium. So, this kids got to have something fun to do, get that energy going. Someone said here, we see a lot of international travelers staying with us at the Sunrise Inn across the street. We recently had a group from Japan. So, uh, like I said, I've met people from all over the world. Yep, and uh, it, it's interesting uh, that, let me see what else they're saying here. Following ministry of yours for years, was excited when the Creation Museum was opened and I can counter and so on. Looking forward to coming and uh, seeing one day. Uh, so yeah, people come from all over. Pack people are probably watching now from all over. I believe uh, so. As yeah. well, I, I I have a lot of people probably get on here and they're they're from Australia and I know some people don't seem to sleep at night. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, today is, it's going to pour rain. I think they said this afternoon. Yeah, but we'll still be busy. Yeah. I mean, if you if you flew from Japan, you're coming no matter what, right? Yeah, exactly. And I uh, see the buses coming up and dropping people. When do the the big bus tours, the secular bus tours? They right? start uh, close to now, actually. In the next week or two, we'll start seeing, you know, 10 to 15, and then it'll be 20 to 30, and pretty soon by summer it's 40 to 50. 50 uh, there was one day last year, I think a couple of days, where there were 70 buses mm -hmm. here on one day. So that's, And the museum sees about as much bus traffic as this does as, as well. As this does as well. Yeah. And those bus tours come from all over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and people and, are thrilled. They're having a great time. And uh, we, we, we're actually actually doing some bus tours, too, that come from the East Coast and maybe go to uh, the Museum of the Bible and then Sight and Sound, across here to the Ark and yes. the Creation Museum. Yeah, we've got a... A Christian Attractions Tour. A representative over, that lives on the East Coast, and she's been working pretty hard to, to organize folks. There's a lot of interest, in, even in New York City, for coming to see the Ark. You know, it's interesting. You just see a continual line of people just coming into the Ark, and, of course, you can have thousands of people here, but they disappear inside the yard. You won't see them until they come out of those <laughs> gift shop doors. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's just exciting to see that. Well, okay. Uh, so, Dan, thanks for the update. All Great right. to see what's happening here at the Ark and okay. Zara's kitchen and all the things that are going on. And uh, we're now ramping up. And it's, it's Easter this weekend. It is. Uh, actually, Easter is uh, two weeks earlier this year than last yes. year. Yes, yeah. So spring break is probably two to three weeks later than last year, but just the way they organize things. But we're still busy. Um, but we're still busy. <laughs> um, thousands of people every yeah. day. And uh, we get that auditorium open by the end of summer, we hope. And uh, we'll bring other things online here um, as, as we get them finished. Mm -hmm. uh, but we actually open up all the outside places that were sort of closed for winter within the next a week, right? Yeah, April, yeah, which is so right around the corner. Of April, yeah. Which is, yeah, it is right around yeah. the corner. It's next week. I know. You realize that? Yeah. Actually, I'm speaking at the museum on Tuesday. Oh, okay. So actually, I'm speaking at the museum on Saturday, too. Oh. Saturday at 3 o'clock, I'm speaking there. Legacy Hall. Legacy Hall, and then again on Tuesday. We have speaking every day, but I'm doing Saturday at 3 o'clock and Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Well, and then once we get the auditorium here, we'll be, you know what I just noticed? Look, they've already got three big steel 
Yeah, they're uh, they're doing the place. verticals now, and they're then doing they'll the start verticals. Yeah, that, they've been doing that while we've been standing yeah. here. Look at that. Well, yep. w- once they get that foundation done and they got that full, it goes a little full, faster. It goes really fast. Yeah. It was just too much rain this this past uh, winter, but uh, so, hey, there's along somebody now. here said an Aussie here. It's only two thirty a.m. See what I mean? Some people don't <laughs> sleep, so they must be like me. Well, we'll see you at the ark. <laughs> yeah, see you at the ark someday. So, uh, with that, uh, we will. Oh, somebody said here. One more thing. Can we get a box of brochures for the Ark and the Creation Museum for the Sunrise Inn? I guess always request them. Um, there you are, Dan. There's a job for you. We'll take care of that. You'll take care of that. Yes, we okay, will. you make sure we do yep. that. Yep. All right. And uh, here we are in Grant County, Kentucky, and very welcoming community, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, we're sort of in the northern Kentucky area. And uh, lots of other things to do around here. Yeah, lots and it's, of, it's lots growing. Lots of other attractions. It's growing, too. It's yeah, people are realizing, come to northern Kentucky for your vacation. Go to the Kentucky Horse Park. Go to the Dayton Air Force Museum, the yeah. biggest in the world. Newport Aquarium. Newport Aquarium. There's all kinds of stuff to do um, around here. Mammoth Cove. Catch a Reds game yeah. if it doesn't rain out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Catch a Bengals game if if they can. If you're a Bengals fan. If you're a Bengals fan. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> we won't say any more than that. Uh, anyway, with that, uh, we'll finish up here at the Arc today. All right. Thanks.